Hi Scorpios, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Etc. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this. Oh, there's some freaky stuff that I just heard. Most important messages for Scorpio. I don't know what y'all got going on. But most, excuse me, most important messages for the sign of Scorpio. Important messages for Scorpio. All right, here we go. We're just going to hop right into it. I just wanted to uh, shuffle a little bit more. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. More messages. Important messages for Scorpio. I'm hearing something about a blind date. Let's get into this. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Four of Coins. And we also have the Moon card in reverse. Look at my energy. We're we about to get into this. I'm hearing something about no result. No result. We have the six of swords at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's why I want. That's why. So we have the six of swords and a devil card and the seven of coins. So someone's confused here. And I guess the confusion comes to, um, I guess, a result not happening. Some Something that, no result. No result. But then I'm hearing something about last resort. Okay, where are we going with this? Scorpio could be a Capricorn towards Virgo energy involved here, but I feel like there's a missed opportunity. What's that? A deer? Yes, it's a deer. Um, I thought I was saying a fox, but it's not a fox, it's a deer. It might mean something to you. The four of coins is here next to that. Taking me to this energy of something needs more work. Or someone is yeah, something needs more work or something like that. The moon card in reverse is, um, I feel like a secret is out. Someone is, something about fears and illusions. Let me get more message, messages on this. It could be a Pisces there. And then um, I already said Capricorn towards regular energy. And then we have the Ten of Coins. Money, success, abundance, long time or long-term long energy or something like that relationship the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck which is you the high priestess following into which is the page of wands and then we have the strength card there the lovers card having the strength to connect look at my energy i have to get a big uh, um, clear picture on this um, scorpio so bear with me really quickly i feel like someone's trying to break through something what's the ace of coins in reverse why is it here like this can i get more on the ace of coins Someone was trying to add, add you, add you, add you. Well, I feel like someone was trying to add you into something or put you into something. Someone wants to add you to this, like, to this jar or something. What do I mean by this? What I'm getting, what I'm receiving is they want you, like, someone wants you to be part of the formulation. Or the formula, the formula, the formula. I'm like, what? The form, maybe I said formulation for a reason. Someone wants you to be a part of the formula, or they feel like you have you have something that they want, or they want to give you. The devil card is <laughs> this energy is involved with it, so I'm thinking that's why the opportunity is missed because something is behind this moment. Be careful about an offer that that someone's making it seem like um. It's all good and glory. Something is attached to this. I'm letting you know, Scorpio. I feel like something is attached here. Let's see. What's the ace of coins in reverse? Me, yeah. Seven. Yes, you're being you're being called to block this energy. Guard yourself, protect yourself. You might have to show your beastie side with this. I'm looking at the dragon on homie shirt. The chariot card at the bottom of the deck, pushing forward, moving forward. Yep, because even with the distraction that's trying to come back around here, it's not going to stop me. I'm going to continue to push forward like the cherry card, the temperance card, balance, patience. I have source right here with me and my spirit guides. So we're going to continue with this message. I could stop, but I'm going to keep it moving, and I want you to keep it moving too. Protect yourself from this opportunity that you feel like maybe you should have taken or should have been rightfully yours or something like that. Or if you miss it, what what's wrong? So it's going to be awesome. Mm -mm. Something is off with the energy anyway with the, with this opportunity, with this gift. And that's why you're being blocked from it. That's why um, you're being protected. This is defense. 
This is defense. What's the four of coins? I hope you all are getting this. We have to. Yeah, I ain't playing with you all. I don't know who this is. But I need I want you all to pay attention as well. So we have the two of wands taking a different approach. And that's why I heard something about maybe a last resort with this devil card here at the bottom of the deck. And that's why this person is trying to offer something to you or try to include you. Include you. There we go. Someone's trying to include you into this. I don't know if it's best to be included with this. Something is some some attachments, confusion involved. Don't let people throw you off. Don't let these energies try to throw you off. Continue to defend yourself. And don't give up on what you already have. Because you might be in this energy where you feel like, I don't have... Okay, maybe you was like trying to go out for a loan. Someone wants to, is acting like they want to help you. It's something some attached. What's the moon card in reverse? What's the moon card in reverse? Tower. You. Come on. It's you. There you go. Bring this down. Call judgment on the situation. There you are. The nine of coins. You can do this on your own. You don't have to be included with this. See things differently, baby. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting chills all over my body. It's time to release yourself. See things differently, like I said, from some type of unhealthy attachment. Someone's trying to keep you stuck. Someone's trying to keep you stuck. It's time to stop working with these individuals. That's what Source said. That card is not in reverse in my day for no reason. That's the eight of coins, excuse me. In re yes. This is probably someone you were working for, working with. I feel like it's no more, um, there's no more energy. Or there's you shouldn't put more, no more energy into this or something. Or be very aware of what someone is trying to offer you or try to include you in with or into or something like that. Let it fall. What's this? What's the ten of coins? What's the ten of coins? We definitely going to get more on this. <laughs> What's the ten of coins? We have the six of coins. Six of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Look at this. You see it's poking out? Confusion. Illusions. I'm hearing something about betrayal trust. The Empress card to the Seven of Cups. You desire everything that is that you want in life being the Empress card. Well, this divine, divine feminine is. This person has not given up on themselves. Three of, one, three of Wands to the Six of Wands. This person is um, looking for their success. Success is, is coming near you, towards you, however it is. But the seven of cups on the empress, I feel like someone is trying to keep you hidden or keep you from knowing your worth. You're the empress. Or you deserve an empress. Or you have to notice the empress energy within you and what it is. Like I said, you deserve abundance. Appreciation. This seven of this six of cups. Something about the past. Maybe it's a pet, something about the past returning. Or someone that's in. Maybe children or family is involved in it. Let me see. What's the tower card? I probably should just do a whole nother go around with this. There you are again. We have the King of Cups controlling your emotions about whatever this tower moment is. This shift. I feel like you may be changing. I mean, I feel like you may be seeing some things differently about some things that may have been hidden. It's not hidden anymore. Five of Cups. It might make you feel a type of way at first, but that's all to help you turn things around in your life because it was something that you weren't seeing. Someone has the nerve to be benefiting off of you. The audacity. Because I don't think you're you're benefiting as much as this person is. Oh, wow. That's, it's, I'm not saying that for no reason, right? <sighs> Get your work, Scorpio. I'm going back. I'm doing another go round. Go round. What's the seven of wands? Leo energy here. Aries there with the two of wands. What's that seven of wands? King. This person act like they got it all. Safe, secure type of energy. Like, yeah, come on, let's do this, do this, do this. But we have this page of cups and we have the knight of swords in reverse underneath that page of cups. Yes, here is in reverse on my last reading. I should have put in the upright just like the eight of coins. But it ain't showing itself for no reason like this. We have the eight of cups right behind it, walking away. From things that you un you're unclear about, where you, where you feel something is fishy. You sense something is off. Everything that glitters isn't gold type of energy here. Hermit card going within. Praying meditation about this. Justice card. Yeah, because it was something confusing with this. Someone was trying to throw you off. Something's trying to throw you off. Throw you off your game. King of coins. I'm hearing something about protect your assets as, assets as well. What's the two of wands? What's the two of wands, please and thank you? Three of swords. Hurt, heartbreak, pain. I heard something about destruction. So is that self-destruction? Because I'm just, I heard it. Self-destruction. Headed for self-destruction. So is this like self-destruction? It's time to heal, pray, 
meditate, rest. It's some last, it's some last confusion going on. That's what's leading leading to to the depression and anxiety. Oh my goodness, this is like the just enough of energy. I'm getting this just enough energy. You know how uh just um enough to get bad type of energy that is bothering that's bothering the, out of somebody, someone. That's becoming exhausting. That it's becoming exhausting for you. So, oh, this is what is this? A get rich quick scheme that someone's trying to come towards you with? Mm -mm, we ain't gonna play that game either. I, I will watch out for that. You know what else this could be? Where in the past, someone came to you with this opportunity. You were like, mm, I'm good. I'm good. They were telling you, no, it's going to be this and that. You said some something told you like, mm -mm, don't do it. <laughs> Sorry. This should have, it's not funny. So you followed your gut, right? And then tables turn a year later, six months later, two years later. I don't know. Chills are, are, are all over my body. I'm telling you. Something happens where you see now, like, I knew I shouldn't have did it. I'm glad I didn't do it. I'm, I'm, this is what I'm kidding right here. Someone knows, like, I'm glad I didn't do that. Because now you watch watching shit fall apart. And it could have been you type of energies. Like, it could have been you. And now it's almost as if you're on this swing, living your happy-go-lucky life with the abundance, your money, wealth, and all that other good stuff. Because someone tried to keep get you trapped. If it's the same thing involve you into involve you into some ish that you didn't want to be involved with same message you decided to pull back nah you rested nah because you knew somebody was on some bs it gave you a little anxiety like okay should i should i have done this maybe i shouldn't include myself nah you did it you did the right you made the right choice decision here this is what makes out that i feel this energy what's the six of cups what's the six of cups Clef has the Six of Cups for the sign of Scorpio, right? This is your energy. What's the Six of Cups? I knew it was going to be a good card. I knew it. The gift of love. Self-love. Your energy. We have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the full card and the Queen of Coins. Like I said, this is about knowing your worth and what it is that you want to go after. And once you go after it, remember your worth again, okay? No, start off with little, know your worth. Ten of sword, yes. All that waiting, waiting for that return. I feel like reciprocity is for you, the sun card. You see yourself who you truly see who you truly are, type of energy. Loving yourself first, like I said. Um, it may have been confusing at a point in time, but I feel like you have so many choices and options to become successful, to create this long term stability and um yeah, stability and structure for yourself financial stability here as well that's when i'm getting more financial stability or whatever it is or um what else i was saying even if you didn't make one move you're still able to create some type of stability for yourself even though everyone else was doing it a different type of way that's what i'm getting as well um what's the ace of cups can i get more on the ace of cups high priestess baby you follow your intuition spirit was calling you you listened yes <laughs> look the hermit card and then we also have the justice card you went within you did see the choices or you did see the illusions the empress card knowing your worth nine of wands not giving up on yourself and knowing that success was coming in for you what's the high priestess card can i get more then you might be receiving messages from the divine with that high priestess your spirit your ancestors and stuff like that and stuff like that queen of coins Rock, bless the rock, baby. Come on. So we have the Queen of Coins on top of the High Priestess, right? The Seven of Coins at the bottom of the deck with the Six of Coins. You said, I don't have to do it that way. I've invested enough into the right things. Or you have investments, whatever was going on. Eventually, you are going to get your return, right? And you are going to be good eventually type of energy. So when this person came with this Ace of Coins in reverse, that opportunity that was low-key a fake opportunity or something that could lead to the disaster or something like that, you said, no. I'm going to protect my assets and what I already have. I'm going to do it differently. Yes, it may take a little extra time. Yes, it might hurt because I have to do it this way. But it's going to be worth the while. Because you realize that, oh, I'm glad I didn't do that. It was like It's like a trap or something. So what's the advice for our wonderful Scorpios out there? Can advice is, so the Seven of Cups is here. So, like I said, the illusions and confusion, <laughs> mixed emotions, yes, 
it's there um this is your energy right yes that's you there so be you you do have plenty of choices i feel when it comes to work as well page of coins but i feel like it's more so of continuing to work continue continue to work on what you have even when you're unsure i feel like you have more support than you realize with the ten of coins and the hierophant yeah you have source working on your behalf don't worry don't worry don't worry look at that the four I, the, someone's moving the four of wands you're moving into a new home yeah look at this hanging man seeing things differently i feel like you're going to either be moving into a new home big uh, like a bigger home um um so if you are renting you're about to be you're, you're about to go into like uh doing a mortgage thing and then for some people some people instead of a mortgage maybe you all are going to like build from the ground up or something like that it could it could be different for different people but i feel like the choice is yours let me see what's the seven of cups as the advice can i get more nine of swords why are you worried don't i'm i'm not gonna tell you what not to do or what you know but look i, I see you worrying a whole lot i see you worrying a whole lot and it's manipulation it's manipulation I, why do I feel like someone's trying to make it hard on you, Scorpio? When you're trying to move forward. You're moving forward. You're in the energy of moving forward. But I feel like someone's trying to make it hard on you. The Page of Swords. The Queen of Swords. The Page of Swords. The Devil card and the Magician. Someone's trying to make it hard on you, honey. I don't know who this is. We're going to send out a whole bunch of good energy towards you to break out. Break that um, energy from you. Uh-uh. Y'all not going through this. Especially the high vibe and people, we're going to break this type of energy. As the advice, though, maybe I think it's time to face something. Can I get more on this as the advice? Why would you show this like this? The Ace of Wands. Is it a connection or a relationship that you may be worried about? So we have the Lovers card, the Strength card, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands. What, this is weird to me. Give me a second. I need to figure out what this is, Scorpio. Why would this be seven of cups to the nine of swords? As the advice, I have to get this to get, gather this together as the advice, and that's why I find it's very weird to be the advice. What's the ace of wands? Why would this the wheel of fortune? I feel like you feel like you've been in bad relationships. Like you feel like you couldn't trust someone. The will of fortune. I feel like things are about to turn around. We have the ace of swords, truth and clarity, the four of swords, healing. Yeah, truth brings healing here. I'm telling you, someone's working on like I guess like creating a, a, a either family dynamic, better relationships, or better connections with other people, something like that that's going on. Because I feel like Oh my goodness, Scorpio. I don't I think you didn't see these energies. You remember what I just said someone's trying to make something hard on you. I don't think you understood. I don't think you seen that. I don't even think you knew that. Chills. And that was confused. And that's where the confusion is coming from. So source is telling you when you're confused about like why something is happening, why you feel why you thinking a certain type of way, why you feeling a certain type of way. It's these worrisome Oh my goodness. Um what is the word? They intrusive thoughts. It's like some intrusive thoughts and stuff like that that's happening. That's something. I can't believe how, how real this is. But that might be energies around you trying to make you feel that way. Chills. This is it's real. What's the will of fortune? It's about to turn around. So I'm telling you, if you feel like you were stalled, you were held back, you were waiting, but you put in all the work, you did what the hell you were supposed to Excuse me. You did what you were supposed to be doing. And it's like you just wanted to move on. You just wanted to, to be somewhat peaceful. You wanted to be in calmer water type of energy. <sighs> it's something that's going to turn around. You're going to be able to live that happy, fun life like I was just talking about with that six of cups and that ten of pentacles energy. I'm about to move on. I'm not crazy, though. I can't quite pinpoint it, but I ain't crazy, though. And we're going to get more next time I get into your energy, Scorpio. But we already at 20 minutes. We're going to move on. Most important message is for the sign of Scorpio. And maybe it's not meant for me to see right now. 
Uh, it could be an unhealthy attachment. Like I said, someone's trying, maybe trying to get you in a violence or something. What the heck? I can't believe it. I think you know exactly what this is. Well, you can kind of feel what's really going on, right? So let's see. Can I get one good, most important message for Scorpio on top of this spread? I feel like you might have been afraid of something new as well. Uh, we just need one, but it's, I got two. The past is coming out. So we have Danu, Assurance, and then the most name, the past. I didn't let that focus in, but we're going to move on. And Mama Culture, Water in Reverse. Sacred Goddess in Reverse. There was a lack of connection some way, somehow. Maybe because if there was a lack of love, it was hard for you to connect with that feminine, um, to that feminine energy or something like that. All right. Um, maybe it's like a connection that you have with your mother that you feel like is like thrown off or something like that. We're going to leave that in the past, learn from the lessons and keep it moving. That's what we're going to do, Scorpio. So let's read that new assurance. Number 10. The appearance of the Celtic go Earth Goddess, Danu, who gave birth to magic, pretends the fulfillment of your desires and the fruition of your dreams. Whatever it is that you're inquiring about, Danu gives her assurance that you're in the process of becoming. Now is the time to trust that whatever you have planted, planned, and worked toward is being lovingly birthed. All you need to do is stay with the flow of events and be ready for, for the next opportunity. Everything has its perfect purpose season just as a fallow ground carries the promise of new life that appears again in the spring as if magically bidden from the invisible to the visible danu offers her promise of grounded assurance okay so let's move on number 37 there are certain moments within your personal history that hold great treasure for you now when you examine your memories, which are the domain of the Greek goddess, Minimos Day, and power wisdom is revealed. The lessons you find are like sacred talismans contained within your past like fossils and amber. Right now, you can trust your instincts that if something brings to mind your past, it indeed has a kernel of the old and the new. This is an amazing opportunity to make informed choices to do things differently. The goddess has another powerful message for you. There are many choice points in life where you have the power to make beautiful changes and become more creative, empowered, and alive. Yes, sometimes memories that live in the cells of your body will trigger a palpable fear, but you can move beyond your past to discover new territories and a new vision of freedom will come to you you won't see the past the same anymore as wisdom replaces numb acceptance the memories will change because you've changed the freedom with its gained by willingness and curiosity relationships become rich with potential and all your natural choices will no longer fall into old patterns that you are that are not serving you the goddess men most name wants you to experience this miracle i'm telling you we're gonna break them change the and you're going to live that life that you truly want to experience and let that past be the past. So let's read number 33. In reverse, it says, Overwhelm and empathy overload has opened up a tidal wave of emotion that feels like it's threatening to engulf you. Feelings are unruly now, and you may discover that it's difficult to control them as you project your their shadowy fears onto the screen of your life. The goddess mama culture says your task now is to detach, step back, and, and, and allow your feelings to pass through you like water without judgment or disapproval. Let your fears be washed away from self-love and understanding. The world can be a chaotic place and uncertainty can create instability where people will, will act out in incomprehensible ways. Move to higher ground. Say no to engaging and wait. Now is the time to respond when you feel ready rather than react in the heat of the moment let the goddess mama culture waters water excuse me let the let the goddess mama culture's waters of life hold you up and surround you like the feel the fluid did in your mother's womb let love be that water okay so scorpio i'm gonna leave it here i hope you all enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if it resonated how it resonated leave it like shares all of that good stuff i love you all and love me and i'll see you all next time bye